This is a Citroen Berlingo Multispice uh, 1.6 eHDI Airdream. It's the uh, XTR EGS6 and it's a five door. 2014 on a 64 plate. It has done 63,564 miles. It's an automatic, two registered owners. The um, CO2 emissions 120 grams per kilometer and a vehicle tax band 111 to 130. Now, urban miles per gallon 56.5, extra urban 64.2, and combined is 61.4. So, a very economical vehicle, very handy vehicle as well. Plenty of load space, plenty of room. Um, it's uh, it'll do not 60 and 15.5 seconds and a top speed of 103 miles per hour out of a 90 brake horsepower engine with 16 valves. MOT is till the 25th of October 2018. I'll just take you for a, a ride in it now. Just uh, there's lots of little uh, compartments. There's compartments up here as well. Ah, ah, now then, <laughs> I was looking for that. Um, Okay, so that's just a handbook. Uh, I was trying to find the service book, so uh, it's not up there. I'll put that back. If there's anything rattling, we know what it is. So it's it's an automatic, or perhaps a, a, a clutchless manual, um, for a better description. You've got a dial here on the dashboard, automatic, manual, so we want it in automatic. We've got a handbrake, so it doesn't work like park with normal automatics. As I say, there's plenty of room in it. It's a full big door at the back. So uh, handy for fishermen or, or anybody else, a flat load space. You can put the tailgate up and it also covers you or shields you from the, the weather, which is normally raining. Especially when I'm doing a test drive on a convertible today, it's a hard top and it's a, a lovely uh, sunny day in the UK. Very unusual. So we've got electric door mirrors, just check those. Yep, that one works. And uh, driver's side works, all okay. Real comfortable seats, a nice. Uh, high up seating position, front centre armrests on uh, both seats, really well padded and, uh, and comfortable. We've got a tyre warning, tyre pressure warning light on the dash which uh, cause the vehicle's only just come in but I do know the tyre pressures have been set so we just need to uh, knock that light off, the, the tyres are okay very very nice and clean um, inside and uh, outside nice display on the dash tells you what gear you're in you've also got your uh, paddle shift here you can just override the automatic we've got cruise control down here which I'll test when we get on the motorway And on the right hand side we've got the audio controls Just, uh, slow down a little bit smile off the uh, speed checker there it's 20 miles an hour down here feel like you could walk faster so on, on the back of the front seats anyway we've got picnic tables as well um, so if you, you have the back seats folded down you've got little bags of room uh, and I, I've got to be honest I quite like these cars they're um, to look at they're a bit of an acquired taste but as a as a, a a vehicle a practical vehicle 
then they take a lot of beating. May not be such a good idea to be going up the motorway. But also, with this type of gearbox, you soon get used to it. If you've got your foot flat down, it'll be quite a, a jerky gear change. However, once you've got used to it, if you just let your foot off the accelerator slightly like that, it'll promote a gear change and it'll be a nice, smooth, seamless one. If you, if you, if you try to, to speed in it or race, you, you're never going to get a decent gear change. But once, you, once you're used to it, it's just like uh, everything else. Well, company behind us. Nice and smooth, nice and quiet. Brakes all good. No uh, vibrations on the steering. down a couple of gears there with the paddles when I used to uh, have an air conditioning machine at the garage I was half thinking of equipping a little van to uh, go out and do it mobile as well and uh, this was kind of my first choice the, the air conditioning machine would stand up in the back um, and still give me plenty of room to work and of course all the shelter with the tailgate up no matter what it was like great for if you've got dogs as well no matter what size they are a couple of Great Danes in the back there. Just quickly, there's the uh, Cruise control. Armrest just a little bit short for me. It's my arm's too long for it, but it's. Uh, Get me in the back of the uh, elbow. Not sure he should be walking up. It's essentially a motorway.
CD radio, we've got aircon, electric windows, so this is the rotary automatic selector or manual. The wipers are okay. Try the rear wipers. Yep, rear one. I think it would benefit from a new rear wiper. But we're doing doing 70 miles an hour, two and a half thousand revs, automatic in six gear. Let's just see if we can uh, just where the steering wheel set. I can't really see the cruise control bit. Needs is uh, this car for his dogs. Oh, it's too hot in the back there. Okay, just set this uh, cruise controls on. Just set it to 70. Once it's switched on, end switch to select. And you've got two little switches here, top and bottom, one will take your speed up and the bottom one takes your speed down so you can set it to exactly what you want. In fact I'm just accelerating too fast there, don't want to do that. Fifty miles an hour. There should be a big sign saying, although it's left to Preston, you can actually still stop in this lane because in order to go to Preston, you have to turn off the slip road, not stop everybody else driving at normal speed on the motorway. Traffic lights are not with us today. This 
this bit of the uh, road reminds me of Laguna Seca. You can't see where you're going. It's all bends. For some reason, they've made it rise up here and then dip down onto the other side. So you can't actually see where you're going or where the road's going. nice smooth gear change is just promoted by taking my foot off the accelerator ever so slightly and the car changes Make a great delivery van during the week and uh, personal vehicle at weekend. Mustang, give it some gas. He didn't. just off one of the picnic tables there that's uh, that's there you just push that up push it down it uh, falls away looks a lot different when it's not lashing down on the dash there <laughs> I'm looking for it changing on here and it's changing on there but I've got polarized sunglasses on so I can't actually see you uh, I can't see what it says because <laughs> it cuts the glare out so right that, that makes more sense
telephone there. When we get back to the garage, I'll just make sure it's got Bluetooth hands-free. And uh, I would think it will probably have audio streaming as well, which is very, very handy. Bluetooth telephone audio. So we'll, we'll see. Sixty cameras overheated again. Can't wait for the GoPro to come out in the UK. So, as I say, no park into neutral and brake on. 